Hello everyone, Akshay here again. So we have already done the task 2 uh, in FPD and ladder diagram. So now we will do in structure text and you will see how easy it is to do in the structure test rather than this two language. So let's go ahead and write the program. So go into the program editor window and in structured text it's actually you have to type as you are thinking so if we want only one uh, button or one condition to be true only then the light should light up that time you can just write in uh, the scenario so here I will write if x1 and not not x2 or x3 doesn't matter if you are using capital or anything doesn't matter and we are using bracket to prioritize the condition so if my x1 is pressed and at the same time x2 and x3 is not pressed then this f condition will run but as you know, we have three scenarios when x1 is pressed and x2 and x3 is not pressed and when x2 is pressed and x1 and x3 is not pressed. And this will be separated by a OR logic. So if this condition or this condition or the condition I will be mentioning is right, then run this if loop. If if loop sorry. So let's go ahead, type x2 and not again in bracket x3 or x1 my another condition and as I have three input I need to have three conditions so again or uh, and I have used the bracket even to prioritize this uh, this or from this or or to separate even you can say so now my final condition is if x3 and not x1 and x2 x1 or x2 if this conditions are true 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 then you should do this that is what set and we are using an assignment operator that is colon is equal to one and semicolon because this command and in here then we will say else if this condition is not true then assign meant operator set it value to 0 and the command colon semicolon and I will end the if statement as my condition statement is ending I need to have a semicolon after that after each command and after each completion of the condition statement you should have a semicolon so we are done with the program let's go ahead and test it and uh, believe me if you have certain conditions wherein it's you are finding difficult to have, uh, think about the logic this is the best language because you just need to put the conditions into the words and that's it your problem will be solved so let's build the changes Uh, I have already done that so my program is up and running so let's set it values to 0 okay so actually I did this program previously so this is taking up the values from the previous input so my program is up and running now so let's test it if my x1 button is pressed then my light should light up x1 here my light has gone green so saying that it is in high and let's test if, it, if x2 is set to 1 and it's pressed at the same time then that light should not glow so it's in red it's not high input so you have got the major advantage of structured text you do try for yourself have fun learning thanks for listening